But what's standing in our way? <laughs> this nonsense. <laughs> this nonsense. And I'm going to speak unreservedly here. Section 21s are not the way to go. <laughs> and you want to know why? Because, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not sick. I don't want to make socks. I just want to get high. <laughs> Section 21s are compromising the number one thing on our list of our basic code of conduct, and that is the integrity of our cannabis community. I'll never forget many years ago reading about the situation in Colorado, because we all know Colorado was the first state in the USA to um, legalize adult use cannabis. And there was this report that says, Colorado has seen the, the greatest incidence of lower back pain in the, in the demograph of males between the ages of 18 and 25. As I stand here, I will not allow those Section 21 people to get ahead, to get the ear of our government with all of their money. Because we know, if you look at any of these Section 21 establishments, they are not adhering to SARPRA regulations. You are meant to have a consultation with the doctor. Oh, sir, you're meant to have a prescription from that doctor. We've walked into a Section 21 establishment and there's a whole pile of signed prescriptions from some dodgy doctor that they pay. Okay? And then you go in there, oh, my back, oh, my back, oh, no, no problem. And then you get a prescription and then the bud tender just pulls some weed from under the counter and gives it to you. It's meant to be dispensed by a registered pharmacist. There's no registered pharmacist in any of these Section 21. And I'm not sick and I don't want to make socks. I just want to get high. So that is all I'm going to say about Section 21s. But I promise you, this is the, not the last that you've heard from me. If we have to go back to court to get rid of this nonsense that is undermining the integrity of our cannabis community because that is what it is doing. The worst thing that ever happened to cannabis was back there in the 60s when the hippies started calling it medicine. Yeah, that's the worst thing because you know it's my medicine but it's my personal private medicine not because I've got some backache or something. No, because I'm getting over the death of Jules. And I never had to go and get a prescription for that because I grow it in my own garden. Because anybody who wants to get a prescription to use cannabis has to go and lie. Maybe they have a legitimate medical reason for using cannabis. And then why would they need a Section 21? Any doctor in South Africa can prescribe cannabis. Why would they need to have unregistered medicine? And SARPA says that medicine has to be imported. Yeah. Because Section 21s are for exceptional circumstances. And I know that our dear, dear friend Connor Davis is on this call, beaming in from Cape Town. He has a very rare genetic disorder that could see him in a wheelchair in the next 10 years. But there is some amazing stem cell therapy that comes from America which costs about 50,000 rand a month or something. Connor gets that stem cell therapy through a section 21 permit from SAPRA. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is what a section 21 is all about. Mm -hmm. It is not for cannabis flower. Mm -hmm. How can you standardize cannabis flower? Mm -hmm. You ask me. It's not for it six is... month old Canadian weed. Yeah. yeah, exactly. We've seen some of this imported Canadian weed and it's the biggest load of rubbish. They're also doing some research with this Canadian weed, Section 21. So I might be standing here not doing my reputation any good, but I feel so strongly about this. I wanted Ricky to come on to the Zoom and, and speak about it because I know he also feels very strongly. And if you want to know why the rural farmers are not making an income, it's because of all the Section 21 punch ups. Yeah. And we even have incidents in Cape Town where the cops go into a club and say, where's your Section 21? Somebody is telling the cops that a Section 21 is legitimate. 
and it's not. Section 21 is an exception to the rule that has to be a, uh, born out of the relationship between a pa patient and their doctor and SARPRA, and it has to be paid for and renewed every six months. There's a whole list of requirements for the Section 21, and it does not apply to cannabis flower. I can tell you that right now. Registered or unregistered in South Africa, you should not be getting cannabis flower through a Section 21. Okay, end of rant. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>